Great afternoon, family. That was about 12 of y'all. <laughs> I said, great afternoon, family. <laughs> Anybody just excited to, to just see another day? Can you give yourselves a hand? Just real quick. Look, my name is Jason Gorey. I run economic development for the city of Jackson. Uh, and and uh, two, two and a half years ago when we started this business of the quarter program, we started saying that we wanted to highlight businesses, extraordinary businesses uh, in our city that's, that's not only doing extraordinary things, but have extraordinary people. When I go around the country and I recruit companies, uh, whether that's uh, manufacturing companies or retailers, one of the things I always tell them, I say, look, now you, can, you, you have the money, you have the resources to build your facility any way you want to. I said, but you'll never find a better crop of people than you will in the city of Jackson. Jackson, Mississippi has the best, <laughs> I tell them all the time, Jackson has the best group of people that you'll ever find on any corner. Your, your car breaks down in any neighborhood at 1 a.m. in the morning, you can go knock on anybody's door. <laughs> now, I don't know what they're going to bring to the door, will they? <laughs> but you can knock on the door. They're going to let you get a phone call, and they're going to ask you want some water. <laughs> you know, but I don't know what they're going to have in their hand. But anyway, so you got but, 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 but I said that to say with that, with, with me being able to tout that as, as one of our assets, when, when the mayor took office in April 2014, our unemployment rate was 7%. It's 5.1% now because of that sale. <laughs> the Economic Development Office has put 1,723 people to work. That means calling on people like Mike Coggins, calling on other corporations and saying, look, we have, we have people that need work and they're great people. And we've been able to take, take 1,723 1, of those great people and place them in jobs right here in the city of Jackson. So we're just excited about the movement that's going on here. We're excited about what's going on. And with that, I want to bring up our mayor, the mayor of this great city, uh, Mayor Tony T. Yarbrough. Let's give him a hand. Hey, great day, everybody. Hope, hope everybody's well. Um, let me, hey, Deborah. <laughs> I almost called it. So Deborah is my double cousin. Uh, her, her mom married um, my mama's brother. And my mom, uh, her dad married my daddy's sister. <laughs> so I almost called her a nickname. <laughs> But I'll not do that. Um, so, so let me just, uh, since I got all y'all in here, normally we don't have uh, this big a fanfare for situations like this. And since uh, I don't remember seeing any of y'all faces at the State of the City address, <laughs> uh, let me just take the opportunity to take advantage of that. Jason uh, started out by talking about why we started doing this. So we got here in 2014, if you remember, uh, uh, the city was uh, in uproar about Best Buy leaving, and the city was in, uh, in an uproar about Sam's leaving. And so everybody was talking about everybody leaving, everybody leaving, everybody leaving. And one of the things that we, uh, we come to understand about business is that business, in a lot of cases, they're no different than you all. Uh, they want appreciation. They want to know uh, that the things that they're doing, that somebody actually uh, sees and they're paying attention and they care. So we talked a little bit about how do we um, better manage not only business recruitment, but how do we uh, kick off a real uh, impactful business retention program? And as a part of that, um, the folks who uh, you have seen so far, Mr. Jason Gorey, Mr. Vic Sexton, and then to my right, we just call him Mike. He don't even need a last name. Uh, Mike Davis. Uh, these, these men, along with some hardworking folks on their team, uh, rallied around creating the business of the quarter. So not only do we recognize businesses, but as I was explaining a little earlier, we, we said we want to recognize businesses who have made a real commitment to the city of Jackson. Because just because folks do work in Jackson, it does not mean that they have a commitment to Jackson. So we wanted to make sure that we recognize people who made a real commitment to Jackson, folks who are hiring Jacksonians and people uh, who are doubling down on their commitment by expanding their square footage, uh, people who are making a real commitment by ensuring uh, that they renew leases. Uh, for the next 20 years. Those are the kinds of things that we wanted to recognize. Jason talked um, a bit about the fact that we've been able to put almost 2,000 people to work. That doesn't happen by accident. That's on purpose. 
uh, as we have started a program called the Jackson 500, uh, as we partner with um, Heinz Community College to train folks that, so that they can be a part of uh, a, a workforce that's prepared for the kinds of things that will be coming into this city. Just two to three years ago, uh, commissioned Jason and his team to find out what are the jobs that we will need in order to see that this almost $2 billion in infrastructure work that's got to be done over the next 20 years, uh, what are those jobs that we can train Jacksonians for so that they can be the ones who get the work when uh, contractors come into town and they have $15 million contracts? We were able to get that data pulled together, and now we're training our own folks. How many people got in that program now? We got 132 people. 132 people in a workforce development. It is probably one of the very few real bona fide workforce development programs, and it is the only one in the state that's being driven by a municipality. <laughs> so, so typically the way that it goes is that good news whispers and bad news screams. Every damn time a pothole is on the street, <laughs> the news will show up. But I can't get them to go and look at the almost 30 streets we've resurfaced since we started the largest neighborhood resurfacing program that this city has undergone in the last 50 years. I can't beg them to meet me over on Lawson, on Lawson Street where we have put, uh, where we have not only resurfaced that street, but one of the largest investments in this city that we've seen, where Seraphim Solar Company has come in and made a $50 million investment, hiring over 300 people over the next couple of uh, months now, over the next several months, and I put, I'm putting Jacksonians to work. Can't get a news camera there? That's why I come to yell the good news since it's whispering. <laughs> So what's our point today? Our point today is to recognize a company that we believe um, speaks to what the best in the heart of Jackson is, and that's Hudson Bay. Um, those of you who are in this room, you get a check from them every month. And what I'm certain of is that they're probably never late with your check, are they? <laughs> All right. They're probably never late with your check. So even the issues that we might have with them, right, as employees, you know, we don't always like folks to work with, and sometimes we wish lunch could be longer and all those other things. But the point is, is that they didn't pack up and leave town and take your job with them. The point is, is that when the noise was swirling, Marshawn, almost two years ago, the sacks, that they, that they were getting ready to leave. Anybody heard that rumor yeah. at that time? Yeah. Well, y'all may not have heard it, but we got it. Yeah. <laughs> And not only was it a rumor, but it was, it, was, it was on the verge of being true. They just won't tell you. That's why I'm here to tell you. So we engaged them. And they said, well, no, we, you know what? We don't want to leave. We want to double down on that commitment. We want to make sure that not only uh, do we stay in Jackson, but we bring more to Jackson. That's right. And that's what they did. And that's why we're here to honor their commitment to this city that folks would love to make you believe that everybody's written off. But if everybody's written us off, I'm gonna challenge you to go and talk to the developers who have put in almost $100 million worth of home development, residential development into your city. That ain't happening in Madison. It ain't happening in Rankin County. Almost $100 million in residential development in your city. Y'all looking at me like, what? I told you. <laughs> Good news whispers, <laughs> but bad news screams. If you don't believe it, go and ask, go and pull uh, the Hines County ledger and look at in their tax roll and see which city was able to, or, or which uh, county rather, was able to increase, I'm sorry, the Department of Revenue. Yes. Uh, which county was able to improve uh, the amount of taxes they were bringing in while other counties were seeing that decline. Yeah, it was your county, Hines, driven by the city of Jackson. So family, as we recognize Hudson Bay, what we know uh, for sure is that the stuff that we just finished talking about would not have been possible had there been a different decision made two years ago. It would not have been possible had there not been a commitment to keep my Deborah <laughs> gainfully employed so that she can pay that lady who she works out with. 
<laughs> and keep that model-like form. <laughs> she, ain't, she older than she looks. Don't let her trick you. <laughs> she ain't a spring chicken by any form of the imagination. She paying good money to keep that little frame. <laughs> so thank y'all for keeping her employed. She got a little girl. Got a little girl too. Nice, pretty little girl. That she dresses nice. So thank y'all for not taking my baby's job. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> well, they didn't come to the state of the city. I just wanted to tell them. <laughs> I don't know who's going to uh, accept this, but I'm going to ask uh, if those of you who would uh, accept this award. Um, Janet? Yep. This says Hudson Bay Company, the bold business of the quarter for October 2016, City of Jackson, Mississippi, Mayor Tony T. Yarber. Thank you so much. Thank you. Do you have words, please? Thank thanks, Mayor. Thank you. Uh, and thanks also to the other uh, officials of Jackson who, who are with us today. Jean Lisman, uh, who's here on behalf of Councilor, Councilman Tillman, Marceline Chrysler, Sheila Bird, Michael Davis, Jason Goree, Eric Jefferson, and Vic Sexton. So thanks to all of you for coming today. And I really appreciated the words from, from both of you hearing the background of the award. And some of what you said really resonated with me and I think resonates with our team. You know, it's really, uh, we get a lot of attention on our potholes. So I run technology. <laughs> and uh, so we're the poster children from we hear all the bad news and there's not, it's really hard to get the good news out. So I think uh, at least my part of the team really uh, appreciated hearing about that because Part of my job is to try to, to yell about the successes as well, just as you do. Um, I've been with Hudson's Bay for a little over a year, and uh, so I came down to Jackson after I'd been here for less than a week. And I've been here, I come about every four to six weeks. And one of the first things that I told my leadership team here is I'm doubling down on Jackson. So again, my exact wow. words, so it's really good to hear you say that. And I know there's some of you who have heard me say that more than once. And I think I even said it to somebody who's in the room this week. Um, so that is, that is my commitment. I've been really impressed by the commitment and the dedication of the team that we have here in Jackson representing Hudson's Bay Company. So you know, we take pride in building a world-class workforce at Hudson's Bay, and I know that we have that here. And uh, so it's really a pleasure to, to accept the recognition from you. And we're really proud to count our 700 associates here as part of our 66,000 person workforce globally. Now, a lot of them work in stores, so I can't move all those jobs to Jackson. Because <laughs> I know you're doing you the can math. If you want to. Yeah, I was doing so, it. I knew you were doing that math. So. You're the boss. You can do it. <laughs> But, but we're really happy with that. <laughs> Especially those stores that are in Europe. It's really hard to get those people to come here. But, uh, we'll take really Europeans. <laughs> <laughs> we like them too. We like when they come to the U.S. as tourists and shop at our stores. Uh, but we re really do a lot of work in this building. That's a lot of behind the scenes, but it's really critical work. And it really drives the engine for Hudson's Bay every day. And uh, it's really important work and really helps drive what we are as some of the most prestigious retailers in the world. And then beyond our commitment to excellence and great customer service worldwide, we also have an incredible sense of giving. And I know that uh, the city of Jackson and the community here really benefits from the fundraising and volunteer support from the people in this room. They're really focused on bringing out the best in themselves, in each other, and in the community. There's really a lot for all of us in this room to be proud of today. Uh, so I'd like to take the opportunity to thank all of you for your hard work and dedication to making Hudson's Bay the leader it is today. And I'll echo what you said earlier. Give yourselves a hand. Which yeah. Yeah. Uh, so thanks again, Mayor Yarber, and all thank of you, you for naming us as the uh, bold, I like that, the bold <laughs> business of the quarter. So we're not just the business of the quarter, but the bold business of the quarter. So we're delighted to be part of the business community and the Jackson community. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank Thanks you. again so much. Sure. Like a living yeah. <laughs> Get up. Look at y'all. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is new. The AMD is new. <laughs> 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 hey, the, the best they typically do is uh, to get the fire department out. Um, let me recognize them. Many of y'all were staying. Uh, we got. Uh, <laughs> Let me, let me
me tell you why I want to recognize them. Uh, I want to recognize them because in the work that they do, um, the ranking goes from one to ten. Okay, come on around here. Uh, the ranking goes from one to ten. Ten being the worst, one being the best. Jackson Fire Department has a, a three rating. They are the they are the best rated fire department in the state of Mississippi. It's not a thing. Yeah. That's, that's their rating. So when you hear somebody say stuff like, oh, it took the fire department 15 minutes to get there. That's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> it does not. They have a they have a clock time of what men? Three to five minutes. At five at the most. That's if a bridge is out. <laughs> Three minutes. Not only that, uh, but but this fire department has been making sure that while everything else is going up, your fire insurance doesn't. There you go. 